What's up guys? Welcome back to Homes on Wheels. Today we're in Troy, Alabama at Smith Manufactured Housing. And we're gonna be filming this nice home that you see right here called the Big Easy. It's over 2,000 square feet and I think y'all are gonna be very impressed by it. I already love the wood shutters and the wood beams that they have going on in the exterior of this home. It does have a nice storm door and a window that is from the bottom all the way to the top. And I really like that for the natural lighting. Let's go ahead and take a look though at the inside. So a lot of people do not like the homes that do not have an entryway. And this home has just that. When you walk in, you can see there's a good spot for a bench right here where you can sit down and take your shoes off. And then you have coat hooks all the way across this wood plank wall. And then if you turn to the right, you can see the living room. This is a very bright and airy home. I always like the bright colors. I can't stand going into a home and it's like a cave where it's so dark. This home does have finished sheetrock, by the way. And the heating and air conditioning is in the ceiling. For those of you curious, the ceiling is textured. But the main focal point of this living room is going to definitely be this very large electric fireplace. The mantle is massive, guys. You could probably put a 75 or an 80 inch TV up there without a problem. It's already wired up and ready to go, as a matter of fact. The electric fireplace could probably be interchanged for gas logs. Uh, that would be something you need to talk about with the Smith Manufactured Housing people. There again, we do not work for the dealers nor the manufacturers of these homes. Nice big windows though in this living room. Let's in a ton of light. Let's go ahead and turn around a little bit and take a look at this kitchen. Massive kitchen. These beams will not be here when this home is fully set up, obviously, but I feel like I need to tell y'all. Got a very big island. Looks like you could put maybe two or three bar stools there. It has like a marble style countertop. Obviously right now the microwave's not in there, but that would be the slot for the microwave. Nice big double door Frigidaire appliances throughout and white cabinets. But these cabinets have the wood texture kind of peering through. I don't know if y'all can see that. Makes a pretty big difference. And that is a picturesque window if I've ever seen one above that sink. Nice, massive window. Sadly, it doesn't look like it opens, but that's okay. And it is tempered glass for those of you that are curious. Say something bad happens and the window gets knocked out. At least you don't have all the dangerous shards that would fall in. It would crack into smaller pieces. Here's your sink right here. It is a single basin with a pull down. Dishwasher right next to it. And the stove will be behind you over here. This door right here is really cool because it's gonna lead into the pantry. I'll show you that in just a second. You can see the subway tile backsplash. That's the larger subway tile behind the stove for all of the stuff that's splattering out of the pots and pans as you're cooking. Big stainless steel range, over top, uh, hood over top of the range there. And these drawers are some big drawers, guys. Big old drawers. The island on this side has five drawers in the top is accompanied by five cabinets beneath it. Plenty of storage. Let's go ahead and head into the pantry over here though. I like this pantry door because it looks like a barn style. It even has screen, screen up here. That's a big pantry guys, look at all those shelves. I'd love to have a pantry this size in our house as a matter of fact. Now, when we first walked through, we came through the living room, we headed right in here. I kind of skipped past the area where your dining room table would be. There is a sliding glass door to the side right there. And to me, I've always liked the sliding glass doors for the amount of light that it lets in, but also it's nice to be able to get good access to your deck for if you're gonna grill or something, obviously you're gonna want your barbecue grill in the back. Look at that hallway, how long it is, and look at all those doors. We got a lot to see, guys. This home is sporting the Ecobee thermostat, which is a smart thermostat that will connect to your phone. The first door that we're gonna to approach to the right is gonna be the first guest bedroom. And this is a good size bedroom, guys. Let's see how big the closet is. Decent size closet for the size of the bedroom. I'm not sure if I mentioned it out there just a second ago. I know I told y'all that the heat and air was in the ceiling, but this home has vinyl flooring throughout. 
So for those of you that do not like carpet, this is probably the home for you. You then walk up onto this guest bathroom. And it's a little dark in here. I apologize. I'm hoping that my camera does it justice. You do have a single piece shower tub unit back there. There is no window in this bathroom, so it is dark if you don't have the power on. Nice big cabinet over top of the toilet there and a single basin sink. We're going to stay to the right. We'll come back on the left so y'all don't worry. This is the second guest bedroom. It looks to be almost the same size as the first one that we were just in. That guest bathroom that we just walked by will actually be the bathroom that all your guests will be using. It is the closest to the living room and the kitchen and dining room. About the same size closet that was in the other as well. So that's two bedrooms. We got to keep count now. And right here is guess what? Not a bedroom. This right here is a big old den. So you had a nice formal living room when you first walked in. Now you got a spot right here. So you got kids that can come back here and hang out and watch TV and not bother you, which is amazing, especially if your your kids have a lot of friends over like mine does. They get loud. You can't hear the TV if you're trying to watch football or something. It's nice to just have them in a separate area. Let's see what this door is at the end of the hallway here. This is going to be a good spot right here for towels, sheets, all that kind of stuff. And then the first room to our left is going to be the laundry room. You're going to have heat and air returns in one of these. You're going to have your hot water heater in the other. There's a good spot right there. Actually, you're not going to go in that door a lot for a stand-up deep freeze. Your washer and dryer can go here. You do have a closet right here. Let's open it up. There again, a lot more storage and another exterior door. Now, I always like having doors on the sides of these homes because it makes it a whole lot easier if you ever build on a carport or garage. Plus, you got a massive built-in right here for if you walk in and say your feet are dirty or muddy and you don't want to track through the whole house, you can get off and you can kick them underneath right here to the side. It's almost set up like a bench locker system when you were in high school. You do have access to your attic right here as well. So let's go ahead and head on down this hallway. We've seen two bedrooms in a den so far. This will be the second guest bathroom. And this is a good size bathroom. This is a three bathroom home, guys. Single basin, more storage than the first one. Have a single piece shower in here that has built in stools. And it has the dark hardware on it, which makes it stand out. And to be a guest bathroom, it's really nice that the toilet has its own little separate section over here along with a window to accompany it. Accompany it. I can't talk today, guys. Here is the third guest bedroom, which is the biggest by far. This one's a little bit longer than the others. The closet, however, is about the same size as the previous two guest bedrooms that we saw. Alrighty guys, let's head on down the hallway. We are now headed towards the master bedroom and bathroom and then we're going to talk about the price. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please do so. We would appreciate the support. There again, we try to give our best unbiased reviews as we possibly can on these homes. This is a nice size master bedroom guys. We turn around when you first walk through the door, your master closet is right here. Good size master. Then we walk down and right here is going to be the master bathroom. And wow, major wow factor going on in here. Double basin sinks here, double vanity rather, have mirrors above it. You do have a big soaking tub right here, which is standalone. Very nice. The windows are frosted in here, so you can keep the natural light coming through, but at the same time, you've got a bit of privacy. Behind us over here is a big shower. They don't have the glass up for the enclosure of the shower yet. You have a removable shower head as well as one that's above it. Nice big bench, and your controls are over here to this side. Your toilet is over here behind it, along with a cabinet above it. Let's go talk about pricing. This home is a very, very fairly priced home. I was shocked when I saw it, especially for the size. 
We're talking about over 2,000 square feet. Again, this home is called the Big Easy. It's a 28 by 80, 2,078 square feet, 152,000 plus tax. Not bad, guys. If y'all will, though, follow us right up here at this box. Click it to our next home tour.